uh, and I'm, I'm actually being serious here, is, is that uh, there are, uh, there's footage and records of objects in the skies that we don't know exactly what they are. All right, former President Barack Obama, he would know more than most, sharing his thoughts on UFOs during a late night appearance just a few weeks ago. It's been 75 years since a mysterious incident occurred in Roswell, New Mexico, prompting reports of an alien spacecraft crash landing, later refuted to be a weather balloon by the government. But only now are we having a real honest conversation about these strange encounters, and there have been a number of these. U.S. intelligence agencies are expected to deliver a report on UFOs to Congress, prompting even those on Capitol Hill to start looking more closely at these findings. Lawmakers, though, aren't alone. According to a recent Gallup poll, as of August 2019, 33% of Americans, a third of us, believe some of these encounters have actually been alien spacecraft. 60% say they can be explained by human activity or some kind of bizarre phenomenon. But what's the real story here? Of course, that's what we're trying to figure out and what we're desperate to hear uh, coming up. Look at that guy. You think they look like that? Jeremy Corbell is the editor of Extraordinary Beliefs, as well as an artist and investigative uh, documentary filmmaker exploring the real-world mysteries behind UFO encounters. Jeremy, welcome to you. Thanks for coming on. Thanks for having me. Okay, so, so the Pentagon is releasing this report later this month, at some point before the end of the month, and there's only, what, 15 days left. What do you expect we're going to find out? Well, I, I know what we're going to find out. It's actually really important. This is a historic time. Okay. We now know our government has told you UFOs are real. They are unidentified flying objects. They fly with impunity through our airspace. They outmaneuver, outperform our greatest warships and warcraft. You know, the big question is who's operating these unidentified flying objects and what is their intent? The important thing coming out in the report and they've already, there was a leak in the New York Times, they're already talking about this. They're going to remove the option of it being some secret U.S. government project. So that removes U.S. technology. It leaves us with some uncomfortable truths mm. that these are not ours. Now, soon we're going to know that it's not Russian, it's not Chinese, it's not any foreign nation that is technologically developed as we know it. So then we have to start looking at more exotic explanations to truly understand who is piloting these UFOs. I mean, it really is something else. I mean, if, if anybody saw the 60 Minutes piece from a month or two ago, I mean, that blew me away because they were talking to, like, naval aviators. I mean, these are like the top gun people that, you know, have, have been in the military for a long time. They're very common sense. They spoke very candidly about this. And they're like, I don't know what the hell I saw. And you actually gave us some videos uh, of these encounters, which, which you've obtained and released. And we're going to go through just a few of them here. Uh, and you can explain to us what exactly we're seeing. Let's pull up the first one here. Um, this is, I, I guess... Uh, uh, a spherical, or I'm sorry, this is a radar, this is the radar data video is what we're calling it here from the USS Omaha. Tell us what this is. Right. So this is the first time in modern history where we have radar contacts. I was able to obtain and release, provide to the American public radar footage of UFOs swarming our Navy warships. But I didn't just release radar data. This correlates with the other videos I released from the same incident in 2019, such as this video, where you're seeing a spherical object in FLIR, which is a yeah. thermal camera on the warship. And you see this thing go into the water. Now, no tail, no wings, no control surfaces, no modern propulsion as we know it. This is a spherical UFO that descends into the water without destruction. Right, absolutely. And I mean, that, that's the one that was crazy to me, because like you said, there's no wings and there's no propulsion. How the hell is it moving? I mean, I, I find it hard to believe that anybody in this world, on this planet, has, has done a better job of figuring out how to move things and fly things than we have, uh, and we have no yeah. explanation. There, there's one more here, and this is the pyramid-shaped UFO we want to get to real quick. Go ahead and take us through this one. Yeah, so this was the first one that I released with my mentor in journalism, George Knapp. This is filmed from the USS yes. Russell. It was being swarmed from pyramid-shaped UFOs that were trailing along and going with our warship. Now, understand, all of these events were happening at the same time. We're talking upwards of 50 to 100 unidentified contacts that were, again, swarming our Navy warships with impunity. And this is something about UFOs, is that they can traverse our most restricted airspace 
unimpeded. Um, they, they can just go wh wherever they want. And so this is kind of the problem, or at least this is something that we need to look into from a national defense standpoint. But look, here is the headline. The United States military, the pilots, the sensor data, the corroborative sensor data, it's all showing you. UFOs are real. They're flying. Who is operating these? It. What is the intent? We need to start asking the hard questions and eradicating the stigma associated with these because they're right in front of your eyes. It's so wild. I, you know, I, I can't wait to see if, if there's something in the report. I'd love to have an answer, you know, before I fall off the face of this earth someday. You know, I'd love to know well, what's out there because, you know, it's eliminating it's just, yeah. these possibilities is really important. Right. Saying it's not U.S. technology. That's a huge leap huge, forward because then it's, is it an adversarial nation or something more exotic? Couldn't we live in a data rich environment when it comes to UFOs. And if you don't know, you're living in a data poor mindset. We need to yep. move out of that and face this head on. Understood. Jeremy Corbell, editor of Extraordinary Beliefs and investigative documentary filmmaker. That's so good. I love it. We're going to do this all week. It's good to see you, Jeremy. Thank you so much.